Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Gossip Closet, where we get to gossip all about perfumes and everything in between. So, let's get started. Alright you guys, so welcome to the first video of 2024 here in my channel. I'm so ready to start the, the brand new year fresh. I cannot wait to see what else 2024 is going to have in store for us, especially when it comes down to perfumes. So that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. We're going to do a little rundown of some of the most exciting 2024 releases that we're going to be getting. And so yeah, let's, let's jump right into these perfumes because I'm really, really intrigued and I'm I'm actually really super excited all right so the first exciting new release that i have here that i'm actually really intrigued by is from the house of narciso rodriguez and i have here musk nude for her so this is supposed to be a spicy floral woody perfume now i have a love and hate relationship for the narciso perfumes i like some of them i love some of them but i also hate some of them i do have one that i actually do like surprisingly i have it right here it's the one that comes in a really really hot pink bottle this one's called fleur musk now this is a really really strong floral perfume if you like sweet gourmand perfumes this is not the one for you i love sweet gourmand perfumes but for some reason this perfume the florals in this perfume they come off very elegant this perfume is so so bougie so elegant so when i first saw that they were going to release a flanker another flanker because they do have a bunch of few of these they have the white one the black one the pink one and now they have another one and again this is called musk nude this one has top notes of floral notes pink pepper and jasmine bud the middle notes are the mask rose and musk and the base notes are patchouli tonka bean absolute so it definitely seems like a woody spicy I don't know i want to say sweet floral perfume even though it doesn't have a lot of sweet stuff the only sweet thing that i can think of from this perfume would be the tonka bean but um i'm excited i actually am excited to try this one out hopefully it is as good as this one because like i said i am not the biggest fan of narciso perfumes but i do like and enjoy this one very very much so yeah definitely want to try this one out it's not going to be a blind buy or day one for me but when it does come out i do want to go to the store and check it out so yeah this is definitely one that i'm for sure looking forward to all right so moving on to the next one so the next one is from lancome and we have here la nuit tresor le parfum I, listen I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I want to pronounce it a little bit bougie. So it's this one right here, and this one is really beautiful. The thing that caught my attention was the bottle and the color of the bottle. It's a beautiful bottle. I do know that Lancome does have a collection of these, and I don't remember if I've ever tried these perfumes. I feel like I have tried them out or tested them out when they were first at Sephora. I could be wrong, but I remember it was around the time where I wasn't really into perfumes like that and when i first tried them out i wasn't wowed by these perfumes but uh this one is really exciting this one is definitely really exciting this is supposed to be a floral gourmand perfume so yes you got me at gourmand because i love gourmand perfumes so this one has top notes of the muscus rose the middle notes are cocoa extracts and the base notes are patchouli and black currants. One thing that I will say is I'm excited for this perfume because it doesn't have any type of like blackberry, strawberry, blueberry, anything berry. I feel like whenever they release perfumes in purple bottles, they always smell like grape soda to me. I don't know. So I'm kind of glad that this one doesn't seem like it's going to be like a fruity grape soda fanta perfume so yeah that's why i'm excited to try this one out and like the last one this one also it's not going to be day one or blind buy but it is one of those perfumes that i do want to try i do want to see if it's going to be a really nice floral gourmand perfume so yeah i'm excited for that one as well all right so moving on to the next one so the next one is from the house of chloe of course and then we have here nomad nuit the egypt and yes i know i'm butching that word up because <laughs> I am 100% sure that I did not get any of these words correct, but it is from this one and it is from the house of Chloe. Now, I have tried 
this brand. I have tried these perfumes and I remember liking one of them. I don't remember trying them all, but I do remember trying one of them. I think it might have been the original one. It's like really, really brown and I did like it. I think it's a really nice perfume i don't remember which one it was i would have to go to macy's and try it out again but this one is very very intriguing because this one has top notes of egyptian orange blossom the middle notes are myrrh and the base notes are vanilla so whenever you have myrrh and vanilla together or in the same category for me it's, it has to be a sweet explosion because myrrh is like amber it does come off a little bit like amber like an amber sense plus with that vanilla note and the egyptian orange blossom i feel like this is going to be a really nice sweet floral perfume and i cannot wait to try this one out would i blind buy this perfume i don't know i don't know if i can get the chance to go and smell it at the store i will first but i have to say with that myrrh note that vanilla and the Egyptian orange blossom. I feel like I probably would blind buy it, but I don't know. I don't know, but I'm really super excited to try this one out because Chloe does have a lot of good perfumes. They, they do have a lot of great perfumes out in the market. They do have one that I tried out. I cannot think of the name. I will post a picture in the screen. Oh my God, you guys. That perfume was love at first sniff. I could not believe how beautiful that perfume smells and speaking of that perfume i'm actually gonna go get it tomorrow from sephora it was just oh my god i listen it was a beautiful sweet musky perfume and i have to get it i have to get it so first thing tomorrow i'm gonna go get that perfume and i might do a review for you guys even though that perfume has been out for i think a little bit now i don't remember but yeah it's one of those perfumes that i have to i have to get and i have to add to my collection so when it comes down to chloe perfumes definitely want to try this one out for sure all right so moving on to the next one whoa when i first saw this perfume i don't care how it smells i just want it for the bottle <laughs> the bottle is just so 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 freaking beautiful and my favorite color is pink so when i saw that this was going to be pink i said yes count me in and this is from the house of giorgio armani and we have here my way nectar you guys tell me this is not the most beautiful bottle you've seen i mean especially when it comes down to the my way line we know that those perfumes are blue the little stone on top is blue but the fact that this one's going to be all pink yes count me in and this is supposed to be a floral fruity perfume and this one has top notes of bergamot orange blossom and pear accord the middle notes are two rose absolute and the base notes are bourbon vanilla and white musk count me in count me in everything about these notes i love Ex minus the two rose minus the two rose but it's just in the middle notes so but bourbon vanilla white musk pear where can we go wrong with this perfume? Yes, it sounds like it's going to be a really nice, fruity, juicy, floral-y perfume. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait to try this one out. So yes, this is going to be uh, day one for me. It's going to be a blind buy for me because I really want to get this perfume. I am a fan of the My Way line. Not all of them, just maybe like one or two. I do like the original one, and I think I like the one that comes in a frosted bottle. I did not like the last release where the bottle is so, so beautiful. It's like blue and pink. Just the scents, you guys, I do have that perfume, and I just honestly, I haven't reached for that perfume. So, yeah, I, I don't know about that one, but this one, yes count me in for sure all right and this next one that we have here is another one that yes count me in day one blind buy for sure and it is from the house of victor and rolf and we have here flower bomb tiger lily whoa let's talk about victor and rolf okay first of all when it comes down to the flower bomb line i love the flower bomb line i don't like the original one i think the original one is too floral-y but after the original one all the other ones are really really good funny thing about the flower bomb line you guys i don't have any of the flower bomb perfumes and that is because not because i don't like them but because there's something in those perfumes that i get nauseous 
I get very, very nauseous. I don't know what is it about those perfumes that just make me very nauseated. I get a headache. I don't know, you guys. I really like the perfumes. I think the perfumes, some of them are really, really good. The sweetness in the perfumes are really, really good, but those perfumes are very intoxicating. They're really, really strong, perform well, but I don't know. I get nauseous when I try those perfumes out. I have tried them out and ugh, maybe I did too much. I don't know. But this one, I'm super, super excited for. This is probably going to be my first flower bomb perfume from Victor and Rolf. So this one is supposed to be a fruity, floral-y, ambery perfume. This one has top notes of coconut milk and bergamot. The middle notes are Tiger Lily Accord, Jasmine Grandiflorum Super Infusion, and Phrygia. And the base notes are mango and benzoin. So yes, coconut milk mango benzoin tiger lily ah uh, it just sounds like a perfume that i cannot i cannot miss i have to try it out and even though i am a little bit scared of the flower bomb line i have to try this perfume i have to add it to my collection i have to give victor and rolf a chance so yeah this is for sure going to be my first flower bomb perfume because the other ones even though i do like it doesn't mix well with my nose <laughs> so i'm gonna have to suck it up with this one hopefully this one doesn't do the same thing to my nose but yeah the bottle is beautiful the bottle is so so beautiful i like the color the orangey the promotional pictures everything about this is just perfect it's beautiful and i cannot wait to try this one out as well all right so moving on to the next one so the next one that we have here is from the brand clean and this one's called born to be unforgettable and this is supposed to be a unisex perfume and i feel like honestly the clean line is they all come off unisex to me mine is the love don't be shy i think that perfume is very feminine it's very sweet very marshmallowy and a little bit overrated i have to say to be honest with you my channel uh but yeah this one i'm excited for i think this one i not a day one for me but definitely one that i do want to check out this one is supposed to be a woody gourmand perfume and this one has top notes of cola and lime the middle notes are cinnamon and the base notes are cedar vanilla and nutmeg i've never heard of a perfume having nutmeg so that is what intrigues me to this perfume and the fact that it is a unisex perfume yes let's try it out and let's see if we like it it's definitely a very very intriguing perfume and the bottle is really really nice i like I like the name of it to be honest born to be unforgettable hopefully the scent is not forgettable and hopefully the scent is as good as it sounds because if it's not then it's gonna go back to the store so yeah i don't know i definitely want to try it out as soon as it hits stores all right so moving on to the last three so from these three i have two for men and the other one is one that i'm just like <sighs> I couldn't believe it when i first saw it i could not believe it but before we get to that one the two that i have here for men is from carolina herrera and we have here bad boy cobalt elixir and paco Rabanne phantom intense now the reason why i included these two perfumes in this video is because if you have a boyfriend or a husband or whatever you have to get these perfumes especially the bad boy line you guys these perfumes will get your men compliments they are something different i feel like they're so so different can we please leave suave age suavage in 2023 that perfume is so played out it's so to 2023 i just think that perfume is also overrated my dad likes that perfume and i was like dad no let's let's upgrade to the next to the next sense in the line but yeah the bad boy line is definitely a really really good line especially for a man it's just really really nice and soft it's definitely a soft uh, a bit sweet it reminds me of an elegant man someone who's elegant someone with money so that's a really really good perfume and also the Paco Rabanne phantom line i think this is the this is going to be the third one in the phantom line and i think the phantom line is also a really really beautiful scent so if you ever want to get your man your husband your significant other a really nice masculine scent go with those two the phantom one or the bad boy line all of them are really really good and they project beautifully but just keep in mind it's going to get your man a lot of compliments just keep that in mind but all right moving on to the last one you guys when i saw this perfume when i first saw that we we're gonna get a flanker oh 
my god i was like yes please and it is going to be in a gold bottle yes please so day one blind buy for sure if they had pre-orders pre-order for sure and i am talking about paco Rabanne again and this one's called fame intense whoa so i love the fame line i have both of the fame perfumes the original one and the flanker these perfumes are so freaking good they do have the one that comes in a pink bottle like this is pink but it is the same scent as the original one i haven't been able to get it because i'm still not done with this one but i'm almost done i'm literally down here so as soon as i'm done with this perfume i'm gonna get it again but i want to get the pink bottle because i just absolutely love the bottles i know a lot of people might think that these bottles are a little to i don't know they might not be your cup of tea but this is just i don't know i really like the bottles i think the bottles are definitely different something unique and i like that i definitely definitely like that so when i saw that we're gonna get a gold one i was like yes please oh my god and this one has top notes of coconut the middle notes are jasmine and the base notes are dreamwood and sandwood which is a little bit surprising that it doesn't have the mango notes if you don't know these are mango perfumes the mango in these perfumes are so so freaking good they're very very creamy these perfumes are so delicious you guys they're very fruity tropical sweet and mangoey yet it's creamy highly recommend the fame line but this one doesn't have any mango notes in it but it is a floral woody fruity perfume and it is the intense version i'm guessing the intense version of this one because this is the parfum version the regular version and then we have the intense version i don't know but i'm very excited i cannot wait i cannot wait to try this one out and add it to my collection and to be honest with you i don't know if the notes for all of these perfumes are 100 accurate so we're gonna have to wait and see until they are finally and officially released but yeah this one's the one that i'm really mostly excited for i'm excited for all of them but this is the one that's doing it for me. This is the one that I'm just like Googling every day. Is it out yet? Is it out yet? Is it out yet? Because I'm just desperate. I'm thirsty and I cannot wait to have it in my hands. But yeah, you guys, that is pretty much of today's video. That is pretty much of today's rundown and review. But I would like to know your thoughts and your opinions. Which perfume are you mostly excited for? Like always, let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, please give this video a huge thumbs up. That lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content that you are enjoying my channel and that you are having fun here with me if you're new here hi my name is edgar O, and i am obsessed with perfumes and everything in the fashion world so if that sounds like you stick around click that subscribe button click that notification bell to get notified for every single time i upload but right you guys as always thank you for watching and i can't wait till we gossip on the next one until then i'll see you next time bye